Hello guys, Keep Right On TV here, back for yet another video. Before we get into today's video, let's see if we can hit 100 likes, and as well, if you haven't dropped a sub, make sure to smash that subscribe button. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the potential threat of Wiccan Wanderers to our to our um, title aspirations. Now, of course, Wiccan Wanderers um, went top of the League One table last night, winning in emphatic fashion, 5-0 away at Stockport County. They're on a brilliant run of form, and um, the last time they actually lost in the league was... Um, against us, 3-2 um, at home in their first home game of the season. That was back in August, of course. And even in the, even in the two games that they lost against Wrexham and us um, to start the season, both being 3-2 defeats, they looked very, very lively going forward. And they actually are, I believe, they're the top goal scorers in the division as well. Now, of course, we do have that game in hand over them. But the, the run that they're on, I mean, it, can't, it cannot be ignored. Um, but the, it begs the question, doesn't it? Because... Are they going to maintain the levels that you know we're showing? You know, um, you know what? Start to the season that we've had. I know they've played a game more, but I am very, very shocked. You know that we're um, not top of the league. Uh, albeit, like I said, we do have a game in hand. So if we win that game in hand, we can go three points clear of Wigan. But I don't. I actually don't think um, we can go top before the international break because I think we can play um, at the weekend as well, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, um, their top goal scorer's got eight goals as well. They're sharing the goals around the team. Um, and the way that they're winning games as well, I mean, they're just completely outscoring the opposition. It's similar to what we're doing, but like better in a way, because I think they've scored about 33 goals, which is kind of crazy. How many have we scored? Have we, I don't even know, to be fair. Have we scored about, we must have scored about 20, 25, 26, something like along those lines. But yeah, um, just uh, like a, a quick video, guys, talking about this, because um, of course... Um, this, the last time we was actually not top of the League One table was like a, a, like a month or two ago, I believe. So um, yeah, um, and you know, people out there saying that's you know it wouldn't be it wouldn't be embarrassing if you still got promoted and finished second. But I disagree with that. To be fair, um, because you know the amount of money that we spend, we should be winning this league. To be fair, if it's not walking the league, we should at least be winning it. Albeit, well, I mean. The margin, the mar the points margin doesn't really matter to be fair, and, and, and you know, the points margin doesn't matter. Um, it's just about winning the league title and um, well, or should I say, winning the league one title and getting back to the championship. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't know how Wickham Wanderers are keeping up with us, by the way. Like, their run of form is just absolutely crazy. I mean, because look at the start of the season as well. Wickham were not even promotion. There wasn't. There was not even. I mean, there wasn't in the top three for the top for the title. The top two, I don't think it was in the top three in terms of odds. They might have been like one of the favourites to get like a playoff place, but they are definitely surprising me, to be fair. Um, and at the start of the season as well, I didn't see Wickham being anywhere near um, the top two. So, yeah, um, I know, I, ha I know, you know, I said Wrexham were a threat a couple of weeks ago, but um, something's different with Wickham. The, the way they outscore teams... They're just absolutely battering teams. It's it's different to Wrexham. These Wicked Wanderers are just like they're scoring for fun. They're absolutely scoring for fun. But hopefully, you know, they kind of, you know, derail a bit um when it comes to like December, January time where you need that squad depth and it comes in handy. But yeah, as I said, guys, let me know what you think in the comments down below. It's been keep us on TV, make sure to like and also subscribe to the channel. Let's see if we could have 100 likes. Um and uh, yeah. What can I say, guys? Um, I'm back, you know, doing like more like regular videos. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to um, the game Saturday against Northampton. Hopefully we can pick up three points in that game. Because if we drop points in that game, then if we drop points and we can win, then yeah, um, not looking good, is it? Well, we'll probably still win the league, but, you know, we're kind of making it hard for ourselves if we can't beat Northampton at home in that. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Keep watching.